Well, hi there, and welcome to Failure Bites Bite Back. I'm Alberto Savoia, and this is a series of videos based on my book, The Right It, Why So Many Ideas Fail and How to Make Sure Yours Succeed. In this episode, an introduction to preto tapping part two, smart beans. What do I mean by smart beans? Hold on a second and I will tell you. In the meantime, meantime, make sure that you don't miss out. If you like these videos, if you want to learn more, if you want to fight failure and win, subscribe. And the more subscribers there are, the more motivated I will be to come and create more and more videos to help you fight failure and win. So in a previous episode, remember, I introduced you to the amazing Jeff Hawkins and showed you how he prototyped the Palm Pilot, not by firing up his soldering iron, but by getting a block of wood putting some paper uh, user interface on it and then going around pretending that it would actually work and how he would actually use it, that he would actually carry it with himself before moving on to build the actual prototype and then finally the actual product which became incredibly successful. As you recall, prototypes are things that you build before prototype. Prototype takes a few hours, take a few minutes, a few hours, a few days. They cost anywhere from nothing to a few dollars, definitely much less than a prototype. Prototypes are designed to, uh, to help you figure out whether you should build something. And as we know, most ideas, we build them and people don't buy them or people don't use them. So this is a very important question. Prototypes take longer, cost more. They ask the question, can we build it? So at some point we will have to prototype it. But before you do that, you prototype and finally the product. You know, once you've determine that you should build it and that you can build it, you focus on building it uh, right. So what uh, Jeff Hawkins did is an example of what I call a Pinocchio prototype. Remember, Pinocchio was a, a, a puppet, a wooden puppet that pretended to be a boy, wanted to be a boy. So with a Pinocchio prototype, what you do is you create a non-operational artifact for your idea using anything that has the same form factor as your intended final product, and then you use your imagination to pretend that it's functional so you can collect Yoda about its usage. You want to make sure that if you build it, you would actually use it. And that's exactly what Jeff Hawkins did. He convinced himself that with that form factor and with that, that functionality, he would love a Palm Pilot. So he went ahead to prototype it and build it. Now, let's uh, move on to more the second example. You remember a few years ago, around 2014, people started talking about smart speaker. In particular, Amazon was supposed to announce, launch its smart speaker, the Amazon Echo. So I thought, hmm, that's, uh, that's interesting. You know, would, would I want one of these? Will this product be successful in the market? Well, I couldn't really guess for the market, but for myself, I thought, you know, to me, they sound like a great idea. But remember, that's a thought line, right? In thought line, we just have opinions. I think I would use it, but I thought, well, would I actually use one and what would I use it for? So I thought, well, it sounds like a great idea to prototype. How can I prototype a smart speaker? Now, being an engineer and uh, since I like the smell of soldering, uh, uh, soldering paste and soldering iron, my first inclination, my, my first impulse was to kind of set up a, a little lab and start to build one. But then I remember, hey, I missed or prototype it, right? So I remember, hey, I said prototype, not prototype. Don't fire up the soldering iron until you've prototyped it. So I came up with a prototype based on the Pinocchio. I took a can of beans, Trader Joe's organic pinto beans, if you must know, they're great. And because it had pretty much the same form factor I would expect for a smart speaker. And then I wrapped it out with some uh, black tape and with a silver marker, I kind of wrote and uh, put, put in some uh, fake buttons and you know, little dots represent the speaker and the microphone. And I called it HAL as a computer in 2001, a space odyssey. And then I took this artifact, this uh, Pinocchio prototype, which by the way, since it's a can of beans, I decided to call it a Pinocchio. And I put it in my kitchen where I thought I would use this device the most. And once I put it in the kitchen, I started to ask questions. I pretended it would work. Say, Hal, what is 400 degree Fahrenheit in Celsius? Or Hal, play some Led Zeppelin while I cook. You know, I'm Italian, so I actually like uh, to cook quite a bit. Uh, Hal, will it rain today? And uh, Hal, remind me to buy some more beans because I used the last can to do a prototype and my wife would not be very happy about that. So, of course, 
the can of beans did not reply, right? I would have checked into a, a psychiatric institution if it did. But just by the very act of pretending that it was there, I was able to collect some very valuable Yoda. For example, I learned that I would definitely want and use a smart speaker. In fact, after using it in the kitchen, I realized that I would use three of them, at least around the house. One in the kitchen, one in my study, and one in the bedroom. For example, the one in the bedroom to set the alarm, you know, or to play some uh, nice relaxing music to help me uh, go to sleep. And I also learned exactly what I would use them for. So I kind of took notes, mental notes, and I realized, well, I would use it to ask it to play music. I would like to ask the time, little information, perhaps read me the news, so on and so forth. So I pretty much convinced myself, for me, this is the right it. And I proceeded and I went and put some skin in the game. As soon as Amazon announced the uh, Amazon Echo, I put it a pre-order the day it was announced. And in fact, I ordered three of them. And when the first one arrived, I was stunned by the coincidence. It looks so much like the can of beans that I created. And in fact, if you, if you looked at the design of other Amazon Echo, the, they came up with one called the Echo Dot that I could have really prototyped using a little can of uh, tuna. Anyway, that's just on the fun, uh, fun side. So the bottom line is, uh, this is yet another example of how to use a Pinocchio prototype to use your imagination before you spend time to build a product to see if you would actually use it. In this case, it was a very successful uh, experiment because I realized I would love to have a smart speaker and in fact now they're all over uh, my house. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. In the next episode, I'm going to introduce you to another fascinating type of prototype called the Mechanical uh, Turk. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you do, please get my book. I have so many more examples just like this one and so many tools and techniques to help you fight uh, failure. And once again, if you like these videos, please do not miss out. Subscribe, subscribe now so you give me some skin in the game and make sure I'll come back. With that, I'm going to leave you for today and wish you the best. May you always find the right it in all aspects of your life. Thanks. Bye-bye.